All right, let's talk about something straight out of science fiction that just became science fact. You've seen it in Star Trek, right? Beam me up, Scotty. The idea of teleporting something from one place to another instantly. Well, we're not quite teleporting people yet, but scientists have just achieved a monumental first. They successfully teleported quantum information over the internet. I know, I know, quantum information sounds a bit less exciting than teleporting a person. But trust me, this is a huge deal, and it's a critical step towards that sci-fi future. So what exactly happened? Researchers from Caltech, Fermilab, and a few other major players managed to send quantum information, specifically the state of a qubit, across a real-world fiber optic network. A qubit, by the way, is the basic unit of quantum information. Kind of like a bit in a regular computer, but way more powerful. Here's where it gets mind-bending. This isn't like sending an email or a photo. When you send a photo, you're sending a copy. The original photo is still on your phone. But in quantum teleportation, you're not sending a copy. You're essentially destroying the original quantum state in one location and recreating it perfectly in another, without that information ever physically traveling the distance in between. It's like the universe has this secret, instantaneous messaging service. How does it work? It all relies on one of the weirdest and most wonderful principles in quantum mechanics, entanglement. Einstein famously called it spooky action at a distance. Imagine you have two particles. Let's call them particle A and particle B. You entangle them, which means their fates become linked. No matter how far apart they are, across a room, across a city, or across the galaxy, if you measure a property of particle A, you instantly know the corresponding property of particle B. So the scientists in this experiment created a pair of entangled photons. They kept one photon at their lab at Fermilab just outside Chicago. They sent the other entangled photon down a 44-kilometer fiber optic cable, part of a network they've built called the Caltech Fermilab Quantum Network. Now here's the teleportation part. They take a third photon, the one whose information they want to teleport, and make it interact with the first photon at the Fermilab lab. This interaction changes the state of both photons, but because the first photon is entangled with the one 44 kilometers away, the state of that distant photon also changes instantly. The final step is to send some classical information, like a regular internet message, over the fiber optic cable to tell the receiving station what kind of measurement was made back at the start. Using that piece of information, the scientists at the other end can perform a final operation on their photon, and voila! It becomes an exact replica of the original third photon. The information has been teleported. For the first time, this wasn't done in a pristine, isolated lab environment. It was done over an existing, albeit specialized, internet infrastructure. This proves that we can actually 